Hello everyone and welcome to part 3 of Demon uh, Arms. This is probably the most fun one I've worked on yet. This and heads. Well, they're all fun. Um, when you open this up, when you load the tool to where you've downloaded it, and you just click Demon Arms Subtool, wherever you've downloaded that to, open it up and you'll see this. Got an example head. Uh, an example um, torso. The torso has got some blend shapes for the arms, muscly, obese, and skinny. This torso is from the torso's pack that's already out. I just thought I'd add these to give it some context, same as the previous two packs. I've got some demo bits. And then, of course, a folder full of 40 arms plus three bonus ones that you can cycle through, and they've all got their own blend shapes unique to each one. Usually mostly obese and skinny versions. And so on. Uh, so many of you probably already own the 50 heads pack and the 50 torsos pack. And now you want to place this arms folder in context of the rest. The, the easiest way to do that is go to Z plugin. Copy folder. It says paste now because I already... But it will normally say copy folder. So just click that and it'll say folder copied up there. Then go to wherever you have, this is my work in progress file for um, what I work on, on the master pack, legs, arms, heads, uh, and miscellaneous. And just go Z plugin, paste folder. I'm not going to click that now, I've already done it, arms is there. And then I'll copy them with their blend shapes in context, exactly where they are. And it takes about a minute or so, it goes, it goes through the subtools one by one. Da, 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 and then it's all there and you can save this master, your own master file. Eventually I will re release a final file with everything properly in it. The heads, bodies, arms, legs and miscellaneous parts and so on. But anyway, let's, let's get back to what this pack actually is. So each arm up, let's open this folder up and let's make this a bit bigger. Up and down arrow on your keyboard. And you can you know, go through them and see, oh, I want to use this one or that one, you know, get your inspiration or if you already know what you want, it doesn't really matter, however you prefer to work. And there's a lot of them. Let's start from the beginning. I don't want to be too slow. So you've got musty versions. Now usually it'll be two. Let's turn this visibility on. No, not that one. You, want, you would like the corresponding torso, if you have that pack, to be musty as well, and they usually... It's quite ex exaggerated usually, so you can go in between if you want. Now, OBJs are provided for the blend shapes as well, but in their, obviously in their extreme positions, like uh, obese. By the way, if you click, drag, then hold shift and just swipe, it'll just go back to zero always. You don't have to be precise. So now we're skinny. If I'm going to go back, if I alt click on stuff, let me just turn this off. It it goes to separate subtools. So I'm alt clicking on that. Just get rid of muscle. You make that skinny to fit, and so you get the idea. Generally, skinny will fit fit with skinny, and so on. Sometimes muscle could look good with uh, obese, or skinny could look with, good look good with obese, but generally. Musty arms, I find, don't work with skinny torsos. But, you know, it's all up to you. You can do whatever the hell you want, as I always say. But obese. Also, there is an insert mesh for all 40 arms. Um, if you press B on your keyboard, load brush to wherever you've downloaded it, and just load the insert mesh brush. And you know how they work. But I highly recommend using this way, because they're in place position, they're in position already. And it's much quicker, and they have blend shapes. Insert meshes can't have blend shapes. So, but I've just added them for some people who like them. It's there if you want to use it, but I do not recommend it. I recommend this. So as you can see, uh, we've seen them all, yeah. 
And let's quickly go through how layers work. Let's say you wanted an obese guy. And you're happy with it. Just go and you want to work on it further. Or just go bake all. And it'll get rid of all the blend shapes and it'll like that. And now you can do whatever you want and meld it with. Well, I've undid that, undid that just now. Or if you want to edit that blend shape, simply tap the record button. And now you can do whatever the hell you want on it. And it'll just be on that layer. Like. Like so. Let me undo that. Um, what else do we have here? Naming layers, moving them up and down in their order. Uh, duplicate layers, delete. You can merge layers, invert them. So generally negative values are not what I sculpted or intended, but sometimes unexpected cool things can happen. Usually not, but sometimes yeah. I don't know what that is. And if you click this, It'll just start a new layer, and you can do what you want, and it'll be recorded onto that layer. And once you're done, just drag. Let me get rid of that. So that's layers. Really cool to use. Really easy. And I've already given you loads in this pack. I think it's 164 blend shapes for all these arms. In total. So let's go to the next one. So the blend shapes are going mustily. Obese. Sometimes obese is quite exaggerated. Uh, sometimes it's not. Skinny. You can also click on that. Type zero in your keyboard. Tab zero or one to quickly do that. Some have extra little blend shapes like uh, nails. Or just become longer. So you can or make them skinny and longer with nails. So you can drastically alter some of these. Which um, I just love doing. Or really musty but long as well. I didn't include legs with this one because I haven't made proper legs that look good yet. So I don't want to spoil the look. I'll get them out as soon as I can. As musty. Nice and let's turn these on. I want to make this smaller actually so I can quickly. So I've turned visibility on so I can go back to the torso and make that. Nice. I'll make it skinny. Or longer. Stay in the fingers. Okay. Reset that. Cycle further. Now, of course, you, don't, nothing, you can use these with quadruped creatures or whatever you like. Especially if, you, if those who have a torso pack will see some of these. Um, will suit some of those torsos who are like forward leaning quite well. Sometimes this is quite useful, unfolding them, skinny and unfolded, or folded back, muscly. Obese, I want to turn this guy back to neutral, whoops. By the way, if you press N, not M, N for, for Nathan, it shows all the sub tools in the scene. You can quickly jump to one, so we were there. Which is super useful instead of going up there. Uh, yeah, we've seen this guy. Long fingers. Obese. Uh, muscly. Or oh, skinny. So the combination, you can see where this is going. The combination of all the different heads, bodies, is infinite almost in practical terms there's a pretty plain arm because you probably need that at some point 
Let's go back to that guy. So as, as I said before, generally, the, it's best to match obesity all over or skinny all over, like, but what I find is, it, as long as the arms aren't way bigger than the central part, it looks fine. Otherwise, it can look weird. But again, that's just an aesthetic thing. It's completely up to you to do whatever whatever uh, you want. Uh, let's put that back to skinny, like. Okay, reset that. And let's carry on with our showing what the, what you get. It's like three blade type arms. This one just has skinny or extend the blades, and you're free to add your own blend shapes, of course. These work really well for let me uh. Resize them a bit. Unfold fingers. Because you, if you have one of those forward-leaning creatures, this could rest on the floor, or it could walk on these. Huh? You can make weird stuff, man. Um. Anyway, let's pretend he's not walking on his hands. Straighten them out. It's not all straight now because for some it's no point, but with these there is a point because they're so multi-jointed. So it's it makes sense so if you designers has this power easily in your hand. Fold back in, skinny, obese. So I won't keep going back to the torso because I'm sure you get the idea to make them match up. Okay, that's that one. This one's got a few surprises. Extend. And extend. Muscly extend. Skinny extend. Or anything in between. Kind of shredded, gnarly arms. Muscly. Like really muscly. Actually, I need to see what this looks like with... Uh, muscly. Um, these guys, yeah. There we go, so... They'll usually be in, sp in, in the correct position, but you can, obviously you can do what you want. That's a bit better for this particular set of arms. Extend. You, you just saw them jump back right after I move them. That is, blend shapes will if will always jump back to the original gizmo position. If anything here was not at zero, so if you so it's best to put everything at zero, move them first, and then start it. See now they didn't jump. It's too musty for me. There we go. Um, let's go back to this guy, put him back to zero. Where were we? There? Ah, one of my favorites as well. As you can see, it's a little bit of poly paint just to give it some tone. You can just easily turn that on and off. But yeah, it gives it a bit more interest while you work. Okay, and muscly. Chunky. Skinny. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. You got these weird fingers and extend. We just extend it a bit. 
on all stations you see a lot of designs especially of some organic looking robots or cre creatures with really long lower arms i've always been a big fan of that when i see that people do that so i've made quite a few of these demon arms I have the ability to to do that really long slender arms i'm i quite like if you hate them just don't use that blend shape these ones are just long weird uh oh what did i do again yeah these ones it's a fun little blend shape will shrink and musty it doesn't have a beast for skinny because some it doesn't make sense for me to have added them so i didn't more of an armored one again usual affair whoops Make it bigger now. <clears throat> Next. Another chunky plated one. Skinny. Extend. Man, I need to upgrade this PC. It's so slow. Ooh, I like that. more weirdos this one's non-default claw actually prefer like that and i think it's got a unfold yeah hmm i like these a lot again extend skinny generally skinny and mussy together ah, it doesn't work so they don't all work together but that's not realistic to expect all of them to always work together, but these work quite well. Ah. Those who have a torso pack will probably instantly know this one will fit a specific hairy one quite well. Hairy torso, I mean. Uh. <clears throat> Skinny. I'm inspired by the goat clans from Diablo 2. They don't quite have the, the shape arms, but I like the idea of hairy primal arms. So long, skinny. What is this? Oh, yeah. I like the idea of having the big forearms like that for this guy. Or big forearms and muscly. Okay. This is one of the bonus arms. It's exactly the same as this guy. Well, minus that. Except without the hair, that's why it's called a bonus. It's not like part of the 40. It's number 41. And it's got some blend shapes. Just thought, you know, people might want this guy, but not with it. There you go. I'm babbling. Ah, oh, these two fit quite well. Extend. Uh, skinny. And of course, as usual, you'd want to change the torso as well, but... Yeah. This is also a bonus. It's exactly this guy. The shape, the silhouette, as you can see. Well, minus the spikes. But I thought, you know, why not include it? Because it looks cool. It doesn't have any blend shapes. So that's bonus number two out of three. Is I think there's only three bonus arms. Oh, this one... It's already musty, but there's like double musty. One of those ultra big. This one, I'm gonna change the torso because otherwise. Yes. Extend the fingers. Quite gnarly, isn't it? Uh, or skinny. Or skinnier, or in between. You don't have to go all the way. That's drastically different. All of them are like this. You can really. Let's go back to neutral. Mm -hmm. I really like these guys. Oh, there's quite a few. Let's zoom out a bit. So it's got the usual muscly, obese, 
skinny. Then we have extend. Then we have had bigger hands and longer fingers. Or skinny as well, but not extended. Smaller hands. So on. It's inspired from the uh, <clears throat> Pinky Demon, I think. Pretty sure it is from Doom 2016. The usual uh, guy. So the armor here stays kind of the same, but inside it gets fatter or skinny, or, or the whole thing goes down. All sorts of shapes and sizes. Extend. Claws. Real quick to get stuff. It's his bigger cousin. Real musty. I forgot. Oh yeah, this would be makes it quite clean. Whoops, don't want to be negative there. Uh, skinny. Skinny and extended. Normal and extended. Only a little bit extended. Okay, let's move on. Its default position is actually like this. So if you have one of those torsos that's hunched forward, this could be resting on the ground. Head would be over there. Or you have the biped position. Another bladed one, this only has mm, sk not skinny. Huh, what a strange term. Well, I should have called it musty. Yep. More elegant, well, for a demon, fairly elegant. Someone screaming outside. It's a child. Uh, okay, extend, rotate, oh, I forgot about this, interesting. Yeah, some have got just stuff I thought I'd be cool to do at the time, so I've added it. Mm -hmm. Muscly, extend. Whoops, I've got that inverted, that's why it's all screwed up. There we go. Ah. Uh -huh. So this is, uh... Oh, position B for stuff that's hunched over. Of course you can move all of the arms to that position, just some of them has it for convenience. Because they will probably be used, I'm guessing. Pump and iron, I'm not really just folding up the arms. Um... Another one of my favorites. I like the really aggressive looking ones. And skinny. Surprised he doesn't have an extend one, but you can make one. This one's only got musty and extend. Uh, really armored like. <clears throat> this one's got quite a few. So it's got this in a more sensible position or kind of relaxed. Um, extend the arms. Skinny. What does this do? Oh, bigger shoulder stuff. So let's make it skinny and extend the arms and do that. So some work really well together. But let's not extend that. There we go. Arms of teeth. Got the usual blend shapes. Muscly, skinny, extend fingers and bigger shoulders. 
No, nope, don't save. And the third final set of bladed type arms has got muscly. And skinny. Mm. Nice. Uh, I really like these. Very straightforward, but they're pleasing to my eye with a little thing there. Usual, muscly, obese, skinny, and extend, and uh, extend fingers. Uh, this is the final bonus one. It's exactly this guy, minus the rip, the scaliness. Because I really like the clean version as well. Doesn't have any blend shapes. Last minute add on. It's a round of time. But it's a bonus, you know. It's free. Essentially. Uh, another multi jointed one, which I really like. Muscly. Lower arm, bend hands in. Position two is again for just a handy position for torsos that are bent over. <clears throat> like a raptor's like stance, or I'm sure you know what I mean. Especially those who have the other packs. Uh, I think the hands might freak out if they bend now. No, they don't. Ah, cool. Useful. Another weird one. Joints like that. I like them from the side a lot. I like this view. Uh, it's got muscly. And skinny. This is based on a very famous demon. Some might recognize it. Um, so we've got muscly. Skinny. We don't have obese for this one because it just didn't work for me. Extend. And then these things in an alternate position. Or combined with others. I think there's only two more. Three more. This one doesn't have any blend shapes. It doesn't make sense to try and sculpt this into skinny and it just, no, it wouldn't have worked very well at all after you've decimated it. Possible, but it would have been bad quality. So I just, this is just a nice, chunky, really obese arms. It's put into a better context. Yeah. It'll work really well with another clean torso, of course. I love these. Really, really cool. Um, huh. I used one of the crawler meshes to make as a base and then hugely altered it. And I thought, wow, that's can make cool arms. I was quite happy with it. We got muscly. And skinny. I didn't do an obese because it's kind of redundant with this one. And these guys bigger. Second to last one. Let me just uh, make a medium again. Skinny. And I believe. Extend that. Whoops. Yeah, nice and gnarly. And finally, we have... This is one of my favorites. It was made two nights ago, as of this recording. Really happy with these. At first, I looked crap, and at the last moment when I was making them, I was like, oh, yeah. So it's, it's working. They also have another position. It's like, if you have a torso this pack, this position too, it'll make sense. Uh, skinny. You don't have to have the torsos pack or any of the other packs to use this, of course. You can use it with whatever the hell you want. And I'm not trying to 
overly plug the other packs. I uh, didn't split them up on purpose. It's only because like, it takes too long to make all of it at once, so I release them bit by bit. For those that want to wait for the whole pack when all the legs and everything is done, you can do that too. It'll be a while though. Uh, not too long from now. Obese. And lastly, do the final one like a proper. Let's do it proper. Proper. Be nice and musty. Uh, let's make it uh, skinny. I'm pressing N for Nathan, by the way, to quickly bring this up. Very ultra useful. It's amazing how late in my 3D career I learned that B is for brush and Z brush. N right next to it is for the subtools in the scene, like that. M is if you have an insert mesh or a, an alpha brush, it'll list all the alphas if you press M. I don't have one now, that's why I'm not listing it. Like a brush like this. M will show all that stuff. So B, N, M. Super useful. And then uh, comma right next to M opens your light box. So all four of these super ultra useful buttons right next to each other. <clears throat> I think that's everything covered. I wish I had the legs out already, but you know, it takes it's a long time. I'm working as hard as I can. But this is not a sob story. This is um, a celebration of this release. Okay. Is there anything I've missed? I suppose we could quickly go in here and just see what it might look like if you have a... Uh, Ignore legs, pretend that's not there, or miscellaneous. But you, let's say you have heads, bodies, and arms. You know, then you'd go, okay, I like this body. Oh, which one is it? Don't crash on me. Whew, look at all this stuff. There we go. You know, you would choose... Ah, some of them obviously fit quite well. They were designed with each other in mind, but you can mix and match whatever the hell you want. Like this guy would... Uh, Alt-click on this guy. Turn him off. Cycle through the arms. Uh, Harry McArm, where are you? Uh, there it is. Mmm. Now, let me just open that bloody folder up. What do I do it? Don't want this on. There's a head or two that fits these as very nice as well. I mean, you can use any head. Some better than others. This one's quite well. By the way, I'm going to uh, update uh, Blend Shapes for... And I'll update the packs as well when I get the time. For Skinny and Obese for the heads as well. <laughs> That's quite funny. Uh, or like this one here for this guy. This is default state. There's like a muscular version of his face like this. Works quite well. Completely changes his almost weak, goofy look to quite different. Um, these are the heads from the heads pack. Just to be clear, in case anyone emails me and screams at me, these heads are not part of this pack of arms. I know 99.9% .9 of you realize that because it's common sense. I'm just saying it. Because I do sometimes. Yeah. Um, I'm looking for that goat head. I think I've gone past it. I have. There it is. Maybe it fits quite well. Oh, 
for him. For him. More enemies. Let us show another uh, example. An example of a torso that's like uh, like this. Like a more like wrap. Yeah, something that's standing forward. That's where this position two is coming in handy. Um, like yeah. just for as an example, <clears throat> let's turn that on. Now I'm gonna make a new blend shape for this. So let's say you want, you know, you want. Get some new blend shapes. I'll record a layer, move it, so the layer is recording everything we do to this head now. I love layers. Move quite roughly. That can be all be refined at another point. This is all designing. Don't be afraid of anything, just go crazy. As Prince would say. Or the artist formerly known as Prince. <clears throat> okay, cool. I don't have any legs that are proper yet. I'll show you the crap legs I have at the moment, but they're just here so I can... S so you get the idea where this pack is going to go eventually when it's all done. Like, there's going to be 40 legs made next of all sorts, you know, with all kinds of... But these are very much work in progress. I'm just giving you a, a peek of... stuff that uh, could be coming. Um, but yeah, this pack's going to be... Once done, pretty massive. And with so many options to to customize. <laughs> that doesn't work at all, does it? So I hope that was uh, useful. Check out the other YouTube two videos before this one. Um, torsos and heads and in both of them I show exactly how those packs work, how to make your own blend shapes in detail and other little tidbits that might be useful. I think that's about everything. Thank you very much for watching and uh, please always feel free to comment me or I mean not comment me, DM me, message me for any questions, queries, or help. I'm happy to help. Sometimes 